part two. So, hi, beautifuls and beloved. So, no, I'm not talking to nobody. I have... Here, Christoph. Put your head down lower. I get in frame. Sorry, I'm ordering you. <laughs> not like well, that. Well, we are married, so I should be used to it. Oh, stop that. See? The originals. How you doing? I'm good. How yeah. are you? I'm all right. You and your son's got this thing going on today. Well, we have some uh, pots to scrub, so... But, oh, that's not how it works. Once we're done, we'll shave. I think it's a defense mechanism, so I don't kiss all over you guys. It's never stopped you before. No, I know. You guys got these cute little cheeks. It's so adorable. So anyway, don't let the cute face fool you. He'll kick your ass if you bother me. Yes, I will kick your ass with cuteness. Stop. <laughs> and then I'll get my point shoes. <laughs> They hurt. That's was it right. you when, that... when ballet dancers attack? I know. Well, was it you that I threw my point shoes at? No, that must have been some other guy. Because, well, wait. We went through. It wasn't your son. It wasn't you. Who did I throw them at? My partner. I, don't I, know. I forget who it was. It was an accident, and it, it like. Of course. What? No, of course it was an accident. Of course it was. I, I have a great Oh, get you. out of here. You know exactly. Can you wait? Sit up. Oh, oh. It's just that you're sinking me in my back, and it's like really hurting my spine. Oh, my God. So, anyway. <laughs> there, that looks a little bit more normal. Or... Yeah, people you think you're married to a midget. <laughs> they would never think that. They know. Anyway, um... So, did you watch the Trump rally in uh, Wildwood and listen to all that? I listened to some of it. It's pretty... This guy is doing a lot of stuff. The, the media just hides it because I was like, oh my, is he doing anything? Is he doing... <laughs> He's always doing something. Oh my gosh, he doesn't stop working. Nope. It's... I am just... That's it. I, I You know how I feel about the Democrats now. I'm like, that's it. They blew it with me. That's like, you ain't got a chance in hell with me now, Democrat people. Not not people who are Democrat, but I'm talking about the politicians. Because I, I, that turned me off. Everything that they've been doing lately is just totally turning me off. So anyway, we're going to have to make her, her male counterpart. Oh, look, I took the bow out. Oh, it took me hours to get this done just right. But we're going to make the male counterpart for her. Oh. There it goes. I fixed it. So, look. And then you can hold up your little dolly, too. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it's going to look just like you. I'm sure it will. It's going to be so cute. Well, of course it will, if it looks like me. Oh, stop. So you can you can be the hero. She's a little hero, heroine. Hero, I said that right? Mm-hmm. Look at it. She has red ribbons just like me. That's a coincidence. Not a coincidence. We made it that way. Oh. Uh, see? See? Very cute. I think so too. It's going to be a big seller. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> did you do everything? Nope. Go see your son. I did. Okay. When we have special guests, we just say, oh, come over here and love on me, and... What? I said, when we have special guests, they just come on in. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we had that many people walking through our door. We've had a few. Not that many, but we've had a few. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's weird over here tonight, isn't it? Um, okay, so, really, this series is supposed to be called Jersey Girl. That was part one, that whack that you saw. <laughs> before with me holding up all my stuff here go buy everything okay I does everybody understand red ribbons this is mine okay <laughs> so back off does anybody understand that does everybody understand dance warrior my nickname it's me my likeness mine okay <laughs> Any questions? There shouldn't be. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna move on. That was fun. Uh, I really wanna talk to you guys now about what my husband and I, uh, yeah, his name is Christopher, K-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R. And he's uh, Christoph. That's his name. So I find that hilarious too. And uh, you know, um, uh, my middle name, uh, uh, part of it, you know, being on Anna, it's or Anne, and I'm named after my grandmother who had that name. Everybody who's uh, first in the family had that name in their name somewhere. So, you know, there's a lot of things to say about that, but really I want to talk about the other element, which is uh, Mr. President Trump. We were listening to his uh, rally, and apparently he was also listening to a portion of it too, so I'm glad he was out today. And we are very impressed. I know some of you might be shocked, and some of you might be saying, hmm, what's gotten into her? Well, the truth has gotten into me. And uh, the de Democrats, and I'm not talking about if you're my friend and you're a Democrat, that I'm mad at you or anything like that. I don't like politics and I don't like the division or the div divisiveness that it can create. So I'm not going there. But I do know a good job when I see it. I do know somebody working hard to fix things. And I heard that and then we fact check um, as much as we could. And this guy's telling the truth, what he's doing. That this guy is our president. President Donald Trump. And I'm like, why is the media so against this man? Do they feel betrayed because they thought he was on their side? You know, he was a Democrat and he switched to Republican. Um, he's fixing our country. He's fixing the messes that other people left before him. And thank God, otherwise we would have been in, uh, you know, the USSR and not the USA the Soviet Socialist Republic, right? What was going on for the past few years prior to his residency or presidency? Uh, apparently a lot of bad things and I didn't uncover this, he did. So I'm like, okay, I applaud what he's been doing. Uh, he's not getting rid of pre-existing conditions. That, that means something to me a lot. Why should I be penalized because other things in the environment or possibly products or whatever made me sick. Why should I have to be penalized, right, in any way or anybody for that matter? So, yay. And uh, I'm going to look that up more and see the details and see what that entails. Um, bringing jobs back to America. And this is something my father was talking to me about for years. He's like, they did away with manufacturing and you never should have done that. Not me, you, or you, you, but just the people who are responsible for doing that in general. And um, I agree. You, we can't be a services-oriented only country. How many times have you heard me say in, in my videos, we need to go back to a more agrarian society? Well, yeah, because everything's become, you know, just digital. And what is that? And there's not a necessity for it. There's a proper place for it, but it became lord over everything. And so we have to have a perfect entwining of all of these different capacities and functions in our society for it to run right. It was getting way cockeyed and too one-sided. So he's been leveling the playing field and taking away the very thing that evil and bad guys have been thriving on. So I think that's why most of Hollywood, maybe I know what I'm saying, maybe I don't, but I'm not going to give it away yet. Uh, that's for a future date. Um, they really aren't against him, but maybe they were forced. Hey, do you want that nice car, that house, keep working? God forbid it went further than that. You know what I'm saying? 
So my Hollywood friends and peeps, rise up against the stupidity of being coerced into doing something like that. If that's not your belief system, tell them to go stick it. You, you see what I'm saying? I ain't afraid of these Hollywood people. I have a lot of friends. You know what I mean? I just, I'm not afraid. Of, I'm not going to be bullied. I am very proud of what President Trump is doing. And I'm waiting to see what more he is going to do. Not just for us, but for the whole world and, and our country. And oh, I love what he's doing for the Jewish nation. Oh my gosh, did you see what he did this Sunday? He is working so hard to come to a peaceful agreement between Palestine and Jerusalem. How long, I, he said, and I forget, but decades long, even going way back. Oh my gosh, this is monumental. And the Bible clearly states, if you're a friend of Israel, you will receive much blessing. And that means a lot to me and my family. You know, uh, just to fill you guys in, Messianic Christian, Messianic Jewish, it doesn't matter how you look, look at it, really. But we believe in both faiths. We, we're just, how can I say, Jewish that believe in Christianity. And I had a mother, my, my biological dad and my mother were Protestant and Catholic. When they divorced, I had a stepfather who was Jewish. So we merged these things that you want to call faiths. Uh, cultures together and they they're really quite beautiful and I'm so proud and so happy and I really find it disgusting and I detest the fact that I've had um, things happen to me because of my beliefs and because of my faith and because of my culture and heritage and you know being Jewish and Christian and it's horrible I mean Really? <laughs> it's like, are you serious? I don't understand it. I, I mean, I understand the mechanism behind that, but I just don't understand why people are still that way. But anyway, so President Trump has been doing such a great job with that. And good for him. I'm going to, I'm going to help him be recognized for this by at least doing my part here and saying, you know what? I applaud him for that. And I'll take each thing as it comes. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we had a circumstance. Uh, oh, wait. Let me uh, pin that over here for a second. Uh, he was in Wildwood. The reason I'm talking about this, Wildwood is in New Jersey. I'm a Jersey girl. And that's why I'm naming this series Jersey Girl. Because people from Jersey, for the most part, as long as they haven't uh, infiltrated from some weirdness from other places, uh, they're pretty much what you see is what you get. It's the raw, real, uncensored. Uh, that's what I'm all about. And uh, there's this realness that comes with those people, us, there, you know. Uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. I am so proud and pleased that that's where I come from. And I'm really impressed with the fact that uh, it's, how can I say, not everything is what you see or it seems that the media has been so much using the powerful tool of power of suggestion and lying and doing some really bad things to people that don't deserve it. That I'm disappointed in because I'm also part of the media and I would never do what half of these people are doing. I don't know why they decided to ditch their integrity. Uh, doctors have a Hippocratic oath. Journalists have an oath. They just basically said, You know, all these people should have something uh, to answer to, some kind of accountability. <sighs> Their integrity is lacking, is what I'm saying. So, in Jersey, right, you get the raw, real, uncensored deal. I'm very much impressed that he went to South Jersey. And it was so funny because I'm saying, you know, why didn't he just go to the Meadowlands? I'm from the northern area. And... Uh, we, we put the video on pause for a second 
and I, I was discussing it with, with my family and my team over here and it's like you know that that's a really good idea and then we pushed play and resumed the video and then he was talking about just doing that too and I'm like okay that's cool <laughs> so he's planning to maybe do it this summer and it's so funny too because he said yeah he should go in the summer <laughs> and he said it you know obviously we weren't listening to each other nothing like that because it was already pre-recorded and done and we hadn't heard it yet but uh, I think it's a really good area for him to establish himself and hit very hard because if I remember well and I think I do my fellow New Jerseyans or Jerseyites I think they're both correct which one I don't know uh, they have more integrity than what I've been seeing now that little pin that I pushed here, uh, that has to do with how I was treated by Democrats in the political arena. Not all of them, but there were a handful of them where in the beginning we were reaching out. That I'm, I'm nonpartisan. We have a little bit of every party in our family, in our business. We, we don't look at you and say, oh, you're from that party. And no prejudgment or anything like that. I want to know you as a person. And I would hope you would give me that benefit of the doubt too. So I, I vote for the person. And um, so we reached out across both aisles. Both, uh, no, wait, we reached out across, we reached out across the aisle to both parties. That's it. That's what I'm going to say. And I have documentation and evidence and so does my company and so does my husband how we were treated mm -mm -mm. you don't do that to us no way in heaven or hell do you do that to us how we were treated number one I won't say who it was but it was a Democrat in a relatively high position saying that they would only help us if we would sign away a privacy waiver you know and I'm like I don't think so because I don't trust you and my husband's like that doesn't sound right no let's not do that because that would we're dealing with a privacy problem and in the wrong hands people just take that signature it's illegal to do and we're catching people and applying it to a contract or something else or they find out information which there's nothing to find if they find anything, we have rebuts and things showing the demonstration of lying about us. And uh, we were like, no, because we don't want to make matters worse. What protection can you give us? What can you do? And we were like, no, go take a walk off of a very short pier. Why don't you run? It's like, did you not read anything of all the problems? And it was, oh, well, that's just the way we do things. It's like, that's not the way we do things. If you want this done and we want the help we're not signing anything unless you can promise us this this and this and this so it's like no deal we walked away from it and uh, you know we're dealing with another entity and then we found out their offices are in California and Sacramento and I'm like we don't trust you already sorry guys not every person in California is rotten I know that we have friends we're here we're not rotten people the friends that we have are not rotten people some people that we've associated with and then we were like we're just not your crowd you're not our tribe okay it doesn't matter what beliefs you have or what party you're from we can't handle you <laughs> you know we don't roll that way that's fine but um it's a warning sign to us look if they can't even take care of what they have in their district what makes you think or what would make us think that they're going to take good care of such a sensitive issue of what we're having to deal with. And I'm like, nope. And then I'm watching this impeachment thing. I'm never political. You guys can look at all my videos. I, I think I made two other videos where I kind of mentioned politics. And I'm like, wait a minute. And then we did the research for ourselves and I'm like, these people are just totally turning us off. And 
there are some things in our, we were writing formal dissertations um, because we were going through the discovery phase, you know, that legal part where you do your research and you put your case together and all this wonderful stuff. And in the process of doing that, you have to reach out to people and demonstrate this is what we found. You know, look at a, like seven videos ago or maybe five videos ago where the earthquake was happening live and then what else happened live on that, that night? Someone was trying to get into our car, our SUV, breaking in. I was like, that little beeper thing. I was like, how? Wait. Oh my God, somebody else has a copy of this. How'd they get it? But we called up and we found out nobody else is supposed to have, and there's no chance in hell that that, that could happen. You know, if a story comes out saying, oh, we found out that this can happen, it's a back pedal BS lie, okay? Nobody, and it makes sense. We knew that. We didn't even have to research it, but we did just to make sure. Uh, nobody has the same key code. It can't happen. Obviously, why? So somebody got a hold of our key. That happened live to... Ow. Oh, God, I got bit by something. And now... It's flaring up. So, and then we're coming out and sharing all this stuff, and then we start getting retaliated against by certain people in aspects of government, people getting called in for jury duty, people, you know, getting their taxes audited and threatening to do so. I'm like, okay, you know what? We're going to make sure that our president knows about that aspect too. It's obvious because we did A and then B was the result. Stop. You know, it's like, leave us alone. You shouldn't have done the dirty deeds in the first place. And you shouldn't have involved us in the first place. And then this wouldn't be a problem for you now. You made the problem for us. We're not going to take it. And then, you know, just like President Trump, he's like, I'm cleaning house. I'm cleaning house. And so we're cleaning our house too. And we're getting rid of the garbage because we don't want to live with it anymore. And people don't like that because you take away their livelihood sometimes, which is not a good livelihood because sometimes it's criminal. Or sometimes in our case, you see how it's been hurting us and people don't like it. Look, I'm telling you, when you face somebody with the truth, truth will enrage and piss off that person that you approach. I have a quote that I came up with. The true tr truth will enrage you before it sets you free. You understand that, yes? If you're a good person, not so much. But nobody likes to hear the truth, even when they're a good person. They're like, you're doing this wrong. It's like, ouch. Because, you know, who wants to be corrected? But this needs to be corrected. They're not good people. So I am purposely not going to vote Democrat. That's, that's my little protest. That's my boycott because of this stunt. And unfortunately, there might be some good Democrats in our government that we would be able to vote for that I'm not going to purposely now. I'm done. You know, you don't help me. You just start snaking around and then you start pulling this garbage and making all this stuff happen. I like it. No, so walk away, right? Somebody does that site, walk away. Away. walked away from the Democrat Party and I may never even go back and like I said I'm nonpartisan and for something to make me change like that has to be pretty hard-hitting and pretty dark and ugly in order for me to do that because I'm not that way unless there are drastic catastrophic measures and so that has happened and I I don't care if you bully me you know what I'll kick your rear end out the door. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like, no. You want to discuss things? Fine. I don't care. But that's it. I have to draw the line now because of what's been happening to us. And I'm like, well, okay. Thank you, President Trump, for helping me see the truth. Thank you, President Trump, for fighting for all of us and for me and for what we've been going through. Thank you. And uh, the rest remains to be seen. But I was like, that, that's it. Why do these people have to do these things? And it's like, once you defy logic and reason, you have to say, okay, who is puppeting them? Because <coughs> this doesn't make any sense. 
They know that they're going down the drain. They know that this isn't going to go over well for them. Look at the special interests. Look at each and every single one of them. This is what we had to do. All this research, discovery phase. And it's just, it's unbelievable what we found. It's so unbelievable. But you have to believe it because it's right there in writing and it's... <laughs> so I was like, okay, thank you. You know, this is where the narcissist unveils or unmasks him or herself. And I think a lot of these people are just being puppeted marionettes, you know. Oh God, I'm sorry guys, I'm so uncomfortable. I am in a lot of pain. <sighs> so hard for me and I'm trying not to take medication because I know it's not good for my body it's not good for anybody's bodies you can just look on the little pamphlets that come with the medication and if you get a prescription and you don't get that pamphlet you ask the pharmacist for a copy of it so you can see all the side effects you know I'm all for medication to help people I needed it my members of my company needed it. We were really messed up. You, you got to do what you got to do to help yourself. You know, cancer, AIDS, whatever you need. Do whatever you need. But um, I'm trying not to because I don't, I don't like how it makes me feel. I don't like what it does to my body even though it helps with the pain. So, you know, which way do you go? It's a balancing act. So I'm so sorry. I'm just really antsy and it really hurts. I, it's like I can't sit down for too long, <laughs> and I'm sitting down too long right now. And uh, you know what? Let me get on my knees. That sometimes helps. And uh, I can't stand up for too long, and I can't dance for too long. I, I have to keep changing it up. That helps. So anyway, pray for me, yeah? Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so Trump. And you know, I don't care if people get mad at me for it. So? <laughs> you, I have nothing. I really have nothing at the moment, so I can't lose anything. And, you know, if someone wants to break off a friendship because of that, then go ahead. I do not care. I have to start caring about myself and my company and my members and my family and our good friends. I, I don't have the time to worry about that stuff, you know? But I was so impressed with what he was saying in the rally and all the good things that he's done. So we're going to do further research and see the details and the repercussions of all that he's done. You know, because sometimes you do have good intentions and it's like, ooh, I didn't plan for that little aspect. And I, I just want to see, you know. But so far, I liked what he said. So there you go. So all my people in Hollywood who have been pushed down or afraid to come forward because of whatever the reason, don't be. Because as you can see, really what do you have to lose except what? Money? Fame? What? You can get so much more by being your integral self. I, I lost out on so many opportunities, not because of my religious beliefs in most cases, but in some, yes. Um, and my political beliefs, it, it was because I was talented and I was the best kept secret as long as they kept me a secret. And as long as I didn't watch TV and films and uh, read the news and stuff, and I'm like, wait a minute, nice little distractions y'all created. The Jersey girl, raw, real, uncensored. I love people from Jersey. They're pretty cool. At least they used to be. I don't know how they are now, because I don't live there now. My dad says that some of them are really awful. Probably. But when I was growing up, it was pretty cool. And uh, it's really cool that he went to Wildwood because we used to spend, um, what do call it, summer vacation when I was a kid. It was so fun. And they had that really huge, big, King Kong thing with the airplanes. It was a big, like, statue thing. 
and there was like a ride underneath of it or nearby. I'm trying to remember. If you look at the old videos, even from before when I went as a child, like look at the ones from the 1960s, uh, the 70s, the 50s, uh, and all those motels, hotels. They're really kind of corny, but they were thematic, like Waikiki, and um, there was like a a retro type of Jetson space theme. Well, they all had different themes. We stayed at a lot of them, but it, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.